often when I'm writing plays, I hear the music. Frequently, until the music is part of the energy of the storytelling, I get a little stuck. So the music in Adventures of a Black Girl in Search of God is quite different from the way that we typically think about music in theater. This is not a musical theater piece, as I'm fond of saying. There's no glad hands in it. It's not like the dramatic arc stops so that we have a moment of music. It's actually woven very seamlessly into the fabric of the narrative. Oh, the live music in scenes, that is so spectacular. It, it's part of the story. It's, it's not we do a scene and then there's music. It's all put together. And it goes directly to the heart. It goes directly to the soul. It soars, it's gorgeous, it's evocative. It becomes like this incredible film score. I think of the music in this piece as the cartilage of the play. It's the connective tissue between the major parts, between the dialogue, between the choreography, between the staging. Uh, it's one of the things that holds the entire piece together, sets place, time, mood, emotion, sensation. <laughs>